Hello, welcome all. Welcome in another important video. I hope you all are doing great. So, in this video onwards, we will learn about Docker Swarm. First of all, let's try to understand what is Docker Swarm. So, Docker Swarm is a nothing but container management tool. Okay, in some documentation, you will find orchestration word. Don't get confused. Orchestration is another fancy word, which is nothing but container management. Okay, so docker swarm job is to manage our containers so it will create containers it will scale our containers it will delete containers if needed so all those management things docker swarm can do okay okay in our previous videos we have learned how to create containers how to delete containers but all of that we were doing manually but this docker swarm will do that automatically okay so now the question might have arised in your mind like why do we need docker swarm in first place why do we need management of containers so container management is important because that helps us to scale our application load balance it and maintain desired application state okay let's learn this with one example but before that i would like to explain you some common terminologies that we normally use in docker so first is node so node in a docker is nothing but instance of docker engine okay so imagine you can create your own physical machine and you can install your docker engine in that machine and you can call it as a node okay docker node could be your virtual machine as well on which you have installed docker engine all in all we can say docker node is an instance on which docker engine is installed condition is you have to install docker engine you can install that docker engine on physical machine or virtual machine it's all up to you okay so that is nothing but node so once you install that docker engine your machine becomes docker node okay then there is another terminology that is nothing but cluster cluster is nothing but collection of multiple nodes so node is nothing but machine on which docker engine is installed and if we connect multiple nodes together we will create cluster okay so then the next thing is docker swarm docker swarm is nothing but a clustering and orchestration tool now if we want to join multiple nodes of a docker together we will need some tool we will need some way to connect those nodes together and we can do that with using docker swarm so docker swarm is the tool that allows us to create multiple nodes together and create its cluster and we can manage that cluster which is nothing but orchestration okay so all in all we can say we have nodes which is nothing but machine on which docker engine is installed and then we can connect those together using docker swarm and once multiple nodes get connected together we can call it as a docker cluster okay and then docker swarm tool and this docker swarm tool also helps us to manage our created cluster which is nothing but orchestration of our docker swarm okay so i hope you have understood this terminologies now let's try to understand why do we need docker swarm in first place with one example okay now let's imagine I want to create one shopping website and this shopping website will obviously have one front end and one back end. Okay. Now, if I want to create this entire website using Docker, then I'll need to create containers of my front end as well as back end services. Okay. So here is one of the example. Let's say I know how much traffic I'm going to get. So I think at the moment, I think three containers of front end and three containers of back end will be sufficient okay but now once we deployed this entire website and one of the container stopped working now how will you manage this condition because as per my current situation as per my current traffic i will need at least three containers running in order to serve all the requests that i'm getting but one of the container is now not working so this situation we cannot handle manually and that's exactly when we will need orchestration tool so this orchestration tools job is to monitor the existing state 
admin. So this is nothing but we, before initiating this process, if we give instructions like we want three containers of my front end and three containers of my back end, then this orchestration tool will keep on checking whether the three containers of front end is running or not. And if one of the container fail, orchestration tools job is to create that instance automatically. Okay, so that is the ultimate idea and that is the ultimate reason why we are going to use docker swarm right i hope you have understood this entire concept and in our upcoming videos we will learn more about docker swarm i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye